everyone, today I'm going to be filming my hair care routine which has been a long long time coming because I think the last one I filmed was like in March or April or something like that. But for a long time my hair care routine didn't actually change so there was no point in refilming it but recently it's just had a complete overhaul so I thought it was about time I got around to filming this. I'm filming in a different room in our flat today because our bedroom is absolutely freezing and there's lots of light coming through the windows in the lounge so don't need to use studio lights and all of that stuff so I'm warm and yeah it's just great. Can't really complain too much about the cold though because I was trying to eat ice cream in our bedroom which is also freezing so it wasn't really helping me but um yeah I've, I'm eating ice cream and filming a hair care routine. It's a good day. Okay enough of the ice cream um even though it was really really good. Uh, to start off with I wash my hair with the L'Oreal Everish No Sulfates Nourishing Care System. So not only are they great value for money because they're like six pounds each and you get a really massive amount of product. This bottle is actually so big that it helped me to focus my camera because I couldn't reach it. But it's how big it is. They're also really amazing for really hydrating the hair and just making it look really healthy and lovely but not weighing it down. And when I see products for like dry and fine hair I automatically think oh my god that is going to weigh my hair down, it's just going to be too kind of nourishing and my hair doesn't need that much, it just needs a little bit. This just injects just the right amount of like hydration and niceness into your hair, it's amazing. So yeah, I really like these, you don't even have to use that much of each of them and for something that has no sulfates in it, like the shampoo, you don't even have to use like a ridiculous amount like you do with others and it's not a watery consistency at all which is great because a lot of the no sulfates shampoos are a really watery consistency and it just is so difficult to get them on your hair. So alongside those I've also been trialling the Bumble and Bumble Straight Shampoo and Conditioner which are really great if you've got very kind of curly, rebellious hair, I think these really help to kind of smooth it down a lot and just make straightening it and keeping it straight so much sorry got really distracted by a leaf outside my window um, it just helps to make kind of straightening them and keeping it straight so much easier and then after washing my hair I towel dry it and do all of that stuff try and wait till it's kind of like 80% dry just so it's not ridiculously wet and I'm not having to overheat my hair to get it dry if that makes sense at all once it's kind of dry to a certain extent I go in with the Lizelle Botanical Shine Nourishing Hair Oil which is a really lovely hair oil. I like using hair oils just because they really help to dry your hair quicker. I don't know what it is, I'm sure someone in the comments can tell me why that happens but I find that using an oil on my hair just helps to dry it quicker. It, it's, it's just magical. And I really like this one because it's kind of like a nice change to the other oil I was using which smelled like Haribo which was quite amazing, it's Burbo oil or something like that. Um, but I really like using this one so far and I think it's just such a massive bottle, it's just amazing. The one I was using before was like this big and ran out really quickly. And then after I've popped that on I do a couple of pumps of the Redkin Anti-Snap um, Extreme Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair, this thing. Um, this smells amazing it just smells beautiful I think someone said it smells like strawberry BMBNs but I can't remember what they smell like in all honesty but it, all I know is this smells amazing and I found it does a really great job of protecting my hair from any heat I use on it but it doesn't have any straightening or kind of curl keeping qualities which is really great because it just means I can do whatever I want with my hair and like this weekend I'm going to be curling it and straightening it and I kind of don't want to be it to be too weighed down or anything like that so this is just a really great all-rounder for heat protection and then after that I go in with my Living Proof Prime Style Extender, I just use a blob of that and I kind of concentrate it on the roots through to the ends of my hair, so basically all over. This is really amazing at keeping a certain style in your hair and I find that my hair will stay straighter for so much longer because I usually blow dry it straight. It will stay straighter for so much longer and like the wind and rain just have less of an effect on it when I use this. It just helps when I wake up in the morning my hair is a lot straighter and hasn't like crimped as much as it normally would if I've been laying on it. So it helps like to save time in the morning when I'm straightening it and things like that. So I love this. And then the final touch to my hair care routine in the morning is a seriously new purchase which is the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. I always I get tongue tied saying it for some reason, that's really weird. Um, I just spray this kind of all over my hair, I go a little bit crazy because it doesn't run down too quick, well that's what I think so far, in a month it'll probably be like gone. Um, I just do quite a few spritzes throughout the lengths of my hair and kind of around the roots as well and it just helps to really thicken my hair when I blow dry it, it's just amazing, it's so much fuller, it actually becomes so full that it's like slightly difficult to brush when I'm drying it which is amazing. But I would definitely recommend something like this or the Bumble and Bumble um, 
thickening mousse which is slightly cheaper if you're looking for something to thicken out your hair because both of those are really great for giving you really big amazing hair and then after I've popped all that on I just flip my hair upside down and I give it a good blow dry I just make sure the majority of it is all dry and I use my paddle brush whilst I'm drying my hair and I just kind of keep the hair dryer over it to a certain extent whilst the hair is going through it and it just kind of helps to give a really nice kind of sleek straight style and just really smooths everything down and stops it being too frizzy because I do have quite like wavy um, quite texturized hair anyway. I'll do my hair upside down so that the under layers get really really dry and then I'll flip my hair back over and go through kind of top sections and the ends and just make sure everything is really smooth and sleek and lovely. And after that I just go into whatever styling routine I fancy so most days it's straight hair some days I don't even straighten it after I'm just like gone out the door especially with winter when I just throw a scarf around my neck. Some anyway. days like today um, I curl my hair and there's going to be a video on Wednesday of four everyday hairstyles that I love doing so if you want to know kind of how I style my hair after my usual hair care routine then keep an eye out for that and I kind of show a few extra products that I've been using um, whilst styling. So that is it for my hair care routine I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm gonna go back to eating my ice cream but I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm also doing kind of like a week's worth of hair posts on my blog this week so I'll leave the link below for you to check that out. and don't forget to check back on Wednesday for my hair styling video I hope you like that one too and I will see you guys later bye